So what's up you guys, Slim here at Team Symmetry. I ain't alone today though, I brought some friends, like I said, the infamous Mr. Frog, the infamous Miss Chick, and of course everyone remembers, don't fuck with Mr. Duck. I brought all of them here today, um, we were talking last night and we were trying to figure out, you know, something happened last night, I was trying to figure, you know, what was it, and I thought, hmm, my, did I hit 10,000 subs? Nah, it wasn't that, not that good. Did I hit the lottery? No, because I wouldn't be here. Um, did I lose my deck? No, I still have it. And then I thought to myself, oh yeah, that little piece of shit paper came out. That one with the, that I couldn't even read until they translated it. That thing with the, with the cards that are like banned and limited and all this other shit. I thought, oh yeah, it must be the ban list. But wait a minute. It looks just like the one I talked about, and that everyone else talked about, and no one believed it. Hmm. I wonder why. Um, so, at the same, so at the thought of that, I looked at it and said, well, it's fine by me. I guess there's really nothing else to do, I guess, except celebrate. And I mean, I couldn't really think how to celebrate. So I brought the stuffed animals in, and I thought, you know, what am I supposed to do? Because, like... It's bandless season, and I should really just celebrate. And I mean, I look at my computer here, and I'm like, well, it's not September 1st, I guess, but, I mean, at the same time, hmm. So, the only way Slim knows how to celebrate, uh, besides with my stuffed animals, I guess is, like, with a song. Okay, I think I've wasted enough of your guys' time, so <laughs> without further ado, you know how I am. I told you guys, this video is kind of a joke, but I'm going to get serious for a minute. So, give me and the stuffed animals, like, a minute, <laughs> and we will be serious again. Um, that's my celebratory song for the fact that I was right, and because... Another dare was made for me to bring that song in here somehow, and I couldn't figure out how to do it. So, anyways, excuse my bad bump into the song, but I am Slim X Team Symmetry. Yes, I'm the real Slim X Team Symmetry, and I'm the only motherfucker that gets to stand up. So, anyways, um, we'll roll the intro, and uh, we'll make a serious video in like a minute. <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> What's up you guys, Slim here at Team Sim and she here to actually make the serious part of this video. I fucked around for the first like minute or so. Just because, I mean, we knew this was gonna happen. This was unavoidable. We knew that the list that Satoshi leaked was pretty damn close to what we were gonna get. And what do you know, card for card it was confirmed. It's on Shriek OCG. If you're friends with me on Facebook, I posted the actual screenshot I took from Shriek this morning. It's official you guys. The ban list is here. Every moron who has a YouTube channel is going to make a video. And here's the ironic thing, is that if you're not mcol 40 if you're not Mega Capital G, if you're not Underworld 6667, if you're not Vexy, no one cares. That's the honest thing. No one gives a shit if you're the first person to post the list. Who cares, honestly? It was posted on Facebook before it was posted on YouTube. So, in a sense, you lose anyway. Now, people may wonder, well, Slim, why are you making a, making a video? Because I said I would. Now, I wasn't going to do it yesterday. I wasn't going to come back to my office and record a video and go, ah, ban list. Because at the same time, I thought, you know, I've already talked about this. But now that it's become official, and I talked it over with these three, I thought, you know, maybe there's something more to it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the list one last time, and we will see um, exactly why this all happened. Now, 
Here's the thing, is that I looked at the list and I was like, this is exactly what we talked about. Now, we'll start with the very basics. What got banned? Brian Eck and Future Fusion. The reason why Brian Eck got banned was because of Atlanteans. It makes some like crazy combos broken. Future Fusion, self-explanatory with dragons and other decks. It sets up too many combos. It almost guarantees dragons to win. When we got to restricted cards, um, in, in Zector, uh, Dragonfly, to one. Hornet, to one. The deck has slowed down slowed down dramatically. The deck is almost dead in my opinion. However, I've been talking with some of my friends and they say that in Zectors, what's left of them could be splashed in other decks. So they still do have potential. Chaos Sorcerer to one. Slow down Chaos decks. They didn't touch BLS, but they touched Chaos Sorcerer. I guess that's good enough. Spore to one. People think plants are going to come back. Don't jump to conclusions. You need to test the deck to find out if that's true. Tsukiyomi to one. I love this. Don't you guys love how expensive a rare Tsukiyomi is? A common Tsukiyomi is? Kind of retarded, right? Just because it was banned and now that it comes back, everyone's jumping on the bandwagon. Thank God I still have one somewhere. Um, Red Eyes Darkness Metal to one. I'm sorry, Dragons. You guys got hit again. Your best monster is down to one. How will you play the deck now? There are many ways to still play the deck. They did it to slow down Heratic OTK. I don't know how that deck really works. Can they still do it with one Red MD? You tell me. Um... All right, the Gishki Kraken. I have no idea what the hell Gishkis do except they do some retarded ass loop. If that's what caused the loop, good riddance. Um, Zen Mighty to one. I've talked to the, about this before. I don't approve of this. I think Hunter should have gotten hit instead of Zen Mighty. Konami made the list. I have no power over it. Zen Mighty, you're to one. Windups, you got hit. But according to some people, they didn't hit windups enough. So that's interesting. And then the last one to one is Ultimate Offering. You're not going to be able to spam out your gadgets and exceed the way you used to. However, you only need one Ultimate Offering to go off. So if you do have that Ultimate Offering and they don't have MST or anything, you're in the clear. All right, cards can go to two. Unfortunately, the bunnies got hit to two. That's fine. I already have a build for Rescue Rabbit. Since you guys already gave me over 200 likes on the Dark World deck profile, I'll be doing the rabbit video very soon. Um, Agent of Mystery Earth. I guess agents are back. Welcome back, agents. Debris Dragon to two. Plants again. I like this card. This was one of my favorite cards in the plant deck. I want to see what potential it really adds to the deck, as well as Junk Doppel decks, because it is an amazing card. Uh, Kalut 2. There you go, Nima. Your Kalutes are back. Your German Kalutes are back. You plussed. Play Black Wings. Uh, Tour Guide. All right, so so in case anyone wondered what Tour Guide's name in the OCG is, it's Death Guide Leaving the Underworld Bound for the Living World. What the actual fuck is that? That is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Death Guide Leaving the Underworld Bound for the Living World. Well, that bitch is to two. That's fine by me. You saw how comfortably I ran two Tour Guide in Dark World. Um, E-Emergency Call to 2. What the hell does that solve? People run to. Um, Pot of Duality to 2. Interesting call. I guess it's to slow down decks that combo off Pot of Duality. Heratic Seal of Gathering, which is Heratic Seal of Confiscate, Conf blah, 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 whatever it's called. Um, slow down Heratics. Hero Lives. That deck is broken in the OCG. Reasoning. Um, apparently it affects Lobbles and a lot of other decks. Card's good. Mirror Force to 2. We'll never agree with that, but so be it. And then no longer restricted, Necro Gardener to three, high Twilight, Marshmallow on to three, more stall decks, Emergency Teleport, high Teledad, Destiny Draw, high Teledad again, Level Limit Area B, let's stall out, Swords of Revealing Light, let's stall out, Magic Cylinder to three, why the fuck are you to three, we don't need any more burn cards. Anyway, that's the whole list in a nutshell. Now, my honest thoughts. My honest thoughts are that this is a better list than some of the past lists. At the same time, it's one of the worst lists. It crippled every major deck and slowed every major deck down. Is that good? Yes and no. Did they overkill in Zectors? Yes. Did they hurt windups? People say no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with that and say no, that there's still ways for them to combo off the one Zen Mighty as well as other XYZs. Do I feel that Dark World is going to be Tier 1? I'm not sure. I think other decks are still good. I think Rescue Rabbit is still good. People think I quit Rescue Rabbit. I never quit Rescue Rabbit. But people know I had Dark World before I had Rabbit because Rabbits were expensive. And once I picked up Rabbits, I switched to Rabbit. So the same thing could happen again. I feel Black Wings will be interesting to see how people build them. I don't know how consistent they will be. They only got one, new, one extra card. Um, gadgets are going to be interesting once all that gear, gear shit comes out. Um... Gishkis, I guess, are done. Dragons, it'll be interesting to see how they come back, having uh, lost two uh, main cards. And as far as other decks go, I feel that this meta is just going to be interesting. I said the meta was going to be a lot faster. By that, I mean that... Uh, 
a lot of decks will rely on speed to get to what they need like Dark World does and a lot of other decks will rely on speed to take advantage of the current situation. Now, do I fully agree with the list? Absolutely not. Do I think some things were kind of dumb? Yes. Do I understand most of them? Yes. But I feel that bringing cards like Magic Cylinder to 3 just opens too many possibilities for people to troll. And I mean, at the same time, it's Yu-Gi-Oh, it's Konami, it's what was expected. And honestly, I mean, there's nothing you can do, you guys, I'm sorry. Like, that's the honest fact is that as much as you hate the company... That's their list. Now the question is, will you play? And I highly suggest you play because this format is going to be interesting. Now that I know what the format is, I'm going to get back into my my lab, so to speak, and I'm going to uh, shoot out a bunch of tech for thoughts. There's going to be a lot of tech for thoughts coming now with the list the way it is. And I feel that the format will just be interesting and I hope that the game will get healthier. I don't know if it will, but... I see a lot of potential in underrated decks because Insectors shit on a lot of decks. And now that Insectors are crippled, I feel a lot of decks that didn't have a chance will have a chance now. And with the wind-up loop hopefully gone, I don't know if it's fully gone. People could figure out something with Zen Mighty. But with the full hand loop gone, you'll be able to play your cards. So I think that's a little bit more fair. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. You know, Thumbs up the video. If we can get 150, 200 likes on this video, that'd be awesome. I didn't want this to be like any other regular boring-ass ban list video. Because you all know that's not what I do here. And I mean, I had to bring the friends in. I mean, Mr. Duck, you don't fuck with Mr. Duck. Like, seriously, he is my TV remote uh, holder, so he's awesome. And these two, I had to bring them in. They're not going to sing today. They don't need to sing. They were here as spectators. They fueled my uh, energy for this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do weird, crazy shit in my videos because I'm not your average Yugi tuber. I'm man. I'm just a guy that wears hats and talks about cardboard. Let's be honest. Anyways, I hope you guys like the video. Thumbs it up. Tell everyone about it. Banless is official. It ain't September 1st yet, so y'all can chill for a little bit. But honestly, if you want to get good at the game, start practicing with the new Banless. I know I will. Um, comment below what deck profile do you want to see next. I got Rabbit, Malefics, and GKs. They're all built. Give me a day or two, and I'll have them ready, and I will start doing a profile once a week until I run out of decks, and then I'll start profiling other people's decks at local. So let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video. I hope everyone's having a good day, and thank you for watching. And woo, Banlist.